with a visit to Portsmouth by the Prime Minister. David Cameron was in the city with the new Education Secretary. He visited a school that had been failing. It was the worst in Portsmouth, but now it's turned around. It's the second most improved school in the country. Peter Henley has more. They've not had a break time like this before. The Prime Minister on playground duty at Portsmouth's Charter Academy. As St Luke's, the city centre school had poor results and a bad reputation, but a new head has turned things around. We've seen massive successful change in education under this government. 250,000 fewer pupils in failing schools, 800,000 more pupils in schools that are good or outstanding. And schools like this one completely turned around uh, over the last uh, five to six years. Clear disciplinary boundaries with ex-Navy teaching assistants has been part of the success story. It's a school that's been turned around from less than 30% grades A to C GCSEs to more than 79% 10 years later. It's taken a lot of money, but today the Prime Minister came to see how it's been done. Look, all the teachers help you, even if you're stuck. And mm. if they're like, trying to do work, they'll come over and help you. Yeah. And have you seen the school improving yeah, while you've a lot. been here? In what way? Like... At break time, you can't really run around, but now they built a running track, so you yeah. can look, run around to it. And yeah. to get are they strict? Are they strict here? A little bit. So like, to make sure you don't like display them or yeah. like run around swearing and everything. No school likes to be labelled failing, but swift intervention is now seen as the key to ensure every child gets the best possible start. Peter Henley, BBC South Today, Portsmouth. Concerns over the costs and frequency of ferries to and from the Isle of Wight are being raised in the Commons tonight. The island MP Andrew Turner is...